Hello? It's me. Hey. What's going on? Hey guys. Gargleby. Brenda. Whoa, what is that? Oh. Founder. Look at that. What does it mean? Does that mean you've been... Yeah, the founder badge. You found the channel. 19 months, man. When That's a lot of months, holy shit. I'm a bad bitch, you can't ban me. There aren't any moderators here. Mr. Not Average Jack. Does that mean you've been subbed since subs were since since I was what does it mean? Maybe if you were subbed before a certain point? I love how I just don't even know any of this shit anymore. Once upon a time I might actually know what that meant. You missed the first month? I don't know if you did. I, I, I don't I think like the first week no one subbed. Except maybe Peter. I don't know. I can't even remember what month I got uh, affiliate anymore. Honestly. I only remember when I started at this point. Okay, so we're playing MTG again because it's easy and low effort and I don't feel like playing anything else but I did make an artifact deck I'll give you guys a, a look at it before we hop into some matches so uh, there's lots of artifacts uh, splashed a bit of black just for Tezzeret Master of the Bridge because it's one of the uh, pretty oppressive win conditions. Um, but the deck can win without it just fine. In fact, I, I've been testing with and without, and it's, it's close either way. If you can get them out and give them the plus two, then they die in like two turns, but... Uh, or it's just like a kill shot, because there's so many artifacts. Oh, hero! my hero season 4 is out. No, I didn't realize it was out. I'm gonna have to check it out. I like to binge stuff like that. How many episodes are out right now? It's on Hulu. Sub only though. I've got Crunch. I've got Crunchyroll, I think, still. You're gonna be leaving the Strimbo soon. You have to get up early for class. School is a thing. The next ep comes out Saturday. Oh, okay. And it's gonna be every Saturday. Do they know how many episodes are gonna be in this season? But yeah, um, I've done some shifting around. Mana Geodes in here just to make sure I have the mana for Tezzeret. Um, there's lots of artifacts in here that pull other artifacts from the deck. So, uh, the, um, the owls pull artifacts or enchantments. We have s some good enchantments in here too. Pattern Matcher also pulls stuff from the deck really reliably, so we, this, the deck doesn't run out of cards very often. Uh, I'm trying Ignite the Beacon. Since I had a copy of it, and this deck has like how many planeswalkers? Five planeswalkers. Uh, Ugin's in here because he discounts all the artifacts. Uh, Banish into Fable is like. Uh, a good way to catch people off guard and push for damage. You can get this out on turn 4 if you have uh, 
one of these renowned weaponsmiths and then you get a bunch of tempo because everything costs two more for the opponent. Stone Coil Serpent's really good against those stupid flying decks that just smork. Dance of the Mance is insane if your deck has a bunch of artifacts because you can just pull so much shit from your graveyard. Uh, the Steel Overseers and the Manifold Key is the cheesiest combo. I'm sure you're going to see it in action. Let's let's actually play some stuff. 25 episodes? Oh, snap. Maybe I'll just watch it as it comes out. I do like to binge, though. What do you think of the first episode of Season 4? Is it good? Are you excited for the rest of the season? But I can tell you right now, I have not run into any other artifact decks uh, on the ladder, that's for sure. It's funny because everyone, nobody so far knows how to deal with it really. They make some silly plays. Oh, was it a bit of a recap? Shit. So the cheese I was talking about, Steel Overseer, I mean, the key is just great in general on this deck because most of the creatures are artifact creatures. And you're gonna, basically the, the main goal of the deck is buff all your artifact creatures and maybe have some keys up and then the keys catch people off guard because you never see anyone playing a deck with manifold key in it and most people don't have artifact creatures so people just send attackers into shit and you just untap it and block and then they concede uh, and you can double tap the steel overseer to get plus two plus two on all your artifacts uh, he's gonna zap this the decks with burn uh, are a bit harder to set up on obviously oh no this is awkward. I think I lose this game. You post in a hentai server, anime cringe. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I think I lose. Oh. That's rough. I might turn down my music a little bit. There we go. Oh, they've got the answer for everything. If we can pull one out of our ass, they don't have any cards in hand. Oh boy. Please have mercy on my soul. I only have one fucking. Oh no. I lose. Hey, Ark. How you doing, brother? Jick. J4. Warb. <laughs> Fucking warb. Warbarbly. Warbarbleby. Warbartlebean. Warbutterbean? Oh, that's not a bad hand. Oh shit, I need blue mana. Ugh. Come on, give me a give me a blue mana. Please. What the fuck? I don't know what deck I'm playing against. Oh, shit. Well, at least I have another two drop. It would have been really nice to get the Renowned Weaponsmith out and then pay two of this mana with this. And then it would essentially 
It would speed things up a lot. What in the world? What are we dealing with here? I have no idea. Well, there's the blue. Da ba dee da ba da. I'm playing this. You want song requests, Gargleby? Oh my god. You want to throw me into the fire? I guess I'll do this. It's kind of awkward because I'm playing Owl next turn. I guess I'm just not playing Mana Geode for a while. If we add a key out, we could double tap this. The old double tap. The, the death touch is annoying, but I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. Oh, it's, uh, what do you call it, a uh, Simic deck? This is actually a really good card, I think. You know what, I don't even know if I need the mana from this. I might just chump it, kill, kill one of these. Oh no, there's no reason to. You want a vibe? Me too, honestly. What is going on here? Triggered. You you almost always hit something with the owl. You look at the top four and a third of my deck is artifacts or enchantments. Literally a third. Over a third of my deck. I think I have 22 artifacts and enchantments. I feel sad. I feel mad. I feel glad. Luckily it might not matter. Depending on how quickly this guy can get going. Ariana Grande, Candy Lover. I don't think we're gonna see most of uh, most most of the people that tended to hang around anymore. I think my sporadic schedule. What is this? Oh, you don't want to tap the thing that buffs creatures every time it taps. No. Okay, I understand. Hmm. These scorpions are kind of annoying, aren't they? Uh, I should. I don't know. Oh my god, no. What's happening? Okay, if it's land, we toss it. What do we got here? Oh, I mean, that's not bad at all. He only has four mana right now, too. Did he not play a land last turn? Oh, shit. We're keeping this. Or did he? No, he did. He did. Wait, what did he spend his mana on? What the fuck? Was it this? Wait. I have no idea. <laughs> There's no reason to attack right now. I'd rather just tap this again and buff it. I might kill one of these scorpions with my renowned weaponsmith when he attacks again because I'm tired of taking two damage every turn and this isn't giving me any extra bonuses right now anyway I have no idea what this deck runs I don't see a lot of people playing this deck I know it has that lady that like destroys your creatures and brings one out that costs one more. Pretty sure that's the best card in the deck. Whoa! S lesson learned, folks. I should have killed that thing sooner, huh? No respect for the Steel Overseer, though. Like, what the fuck? What are you doing with your life? I 
I don't really want to get rid of my Steel Overseer. This is super awkward. The one mana death touches a re. I know they are. I'm thinking about swinging. Oh shit, I forgot to tap this to buff it. Oops. I'm thinking about swinging instead of tapping. It's only buffing itself right now. I'd rather push for damage and try to like catch up HP wise. Oh yeah, this thing does damage to, to them too. So we deal four per turn, and he deals two uh, two per turn. Oh, I guess no, he gets four because he has this too. Shit. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Get out of here with your death touch bullshit. Thank God, a creature. That's better. Oh boy, I think we might be okay. Whew. I was worried there. If that owl would have missed. The odds of it missing are so low. So low dolo. Hmm. Let's get rid of these death touch fuckers. If he sends them in, I'm blocking both. I don't even care anymore. Oh, I'll actually... Hmm. God, Pharaoh lethal, yeah. Just stall out for 15 turns. We need to get rid of these death touch fuckies so they're gonna keep dealing damage. He's gonna swing with them. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's reading his card to see how it works, I think. Whoa, what in the world? Wait, 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 what? Reduce the mana cost by two. He has two mana. This cannot grow. He's just, I mean, I'll double block. I don't care. Oh, wow. And I don't even lose a creature. Wow, that's a pretty spicy deal for me. What is he thinking, I wonder? Am I misunderstanding this? Two less to activate. No. He I think he miscounted or some shit, I don't know. I think he made a serious error that it's gonna benefit us greatly. Unless he has like a trick in his hand. If he's choosing which one to block first, there should be no question. Or attack first. The Steel Overseer is pretty ridiculous. Okay. That's pretty gross. I know. Nobody respects the Overseer, man. You're gonna notice a pattern. Nobody respects the artifacts. Oh, hello. See, this is why the Mana Geode's in the deck. Mmm, yes, let's race, my friend. Let's race. Oh. Oh, in before the counter. Ooh. Is there anything? This is the only thing in my fucking graveyard? Holy shit. Yeah, it's a plus two that deals damage equal to uh, the number of artifacts. You should just concede, he said. Oh my god, it's true, you should. I forgot that that healed me. Damn, dude. I, I might even attack with... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Can I force him to block? Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, we're good. That's why I splashed black into the deck for exactly that one card. 
pretty good wind condition. No respect, man. No respect for the overseer. I was playing a match earlier where s some guy uh, played something where it's like take control of target permanent and opponent controls. I think it's like a six mana blue creature or some shit. And uh... Oh my god, what are these mulligans? Oh god. I might keep this because I don't want a mulligan. Again, this is too slow for right now. I could always dig it out later with the owl. Play this for zero mana. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but then he stole- so I had like a couple overseers that were already had like three plus one plus one counters on it. And a, uh, like one other creature, and then a key. Oh, I think I lose. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I'm gonna be real slow. I could have played this as a 2-2, two -two, but I think he he can just buff. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm so fucked. I don't think this is mono red, by the way. I think this has uh, black in it too. Oh, well, maybe not. Uh, but long story short, he took like the key or something instead of uh, anything else, and then he lost a couple turns later. Oh no... Help. <laughs> this is not going well at all. He's pinging my face with this, I guess, because it would have he wouldn't have been able to play it otherwise. Oh, I think I want another one of these in this situation. Get some blockers in here. This could also be good. I'd rather have creatures though. Yeah, this is a an artifact. Flying three three artifact that digs into my deck for other shit. Oh I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna yarf. I'm gonna frickin' Oh Hey Kuma. What's up? Can I get enough? No, I lose no matter what. Because he of his uh, lovely cavalcade of RDW. How you doing, Kuma? I'm playing an artifact deck of my own creation on ladder, and it we're getting mixed results so far. There's the key. I don't have a two draw. What do I do? I could mulligan. I should mulligan. I will mulligan. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I might actually keep both of... No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do this. Playing this and grabbing another one of these might be, uh, better. He 
Yeah. My one stream a year. Uh, I don't stream very often anymore. Because I'm feeling sorry for myself. This is the part where they mouse over this card and say, What the fuck? I've never seen this in ranked before. You see? What does this card do again? You, you think he has a counter? It's tough to say. It's really tough to say. I'm gonna just, uh, I would rather have a Steel Overseer from the Pattern Matcher. So let's do this. Doing your dailies and not watching anything. Thought you'd pop on. Sorry to hear I'm not feeling it. Oh yeah, I just haven't really uh been been doing great lately. You know how it goes. We've all been there. Wait, did he just draw that? Why didn't he play it on his turn? Or my turn? Maybe he... I don't know. I don't know what the deal was there. Oh wait, he can't... Or wait. Oh yeah, he countered, he countered. Right, 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 right. Clinch. What's going on here? You may discard a card if you do draw a card. Okay. I could have played the Lurker of the Lock this turn too, but I goofed it out. Oops. Oh well. I wanted that one extra damage, guys. Watch, it's gonna it's gonna matter later. I'd like to add a few different cards to this deck and make some refinements, but I don't have the cards for it. I just used what I had. I don't play this game like super frequently. Whenever you draw, deal three damage to any to Oh no, we gotta get rid of that. Say bye bye. Let's not let them get anything on the board. I want land. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we need this. I need to ignite the beacon. I'm really regretting not playing this lurker. I could have tapped this for two. Beacon bolt. He's all tapped out. Let's get this going. So we want one of uh, uh, we want stuff we can play. Let's get one of these and one of these. We're pinging for- wait, what- how's he taking so much damage? What happened? Hey, Daves. It's me. I'm playing an artifact deck. Completely different to the old artifact deck because most of the artifact synergy cards in that old deck, uh, aren't a thing. Oh, it turns out we could have played Hoogan or whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, he's all tapped out again. He's going to be able to ping someone. Sh I'm going to play Karn and Yoink an Artifact. We can play the Pattern Matcher too. I'm okay if he pings this. It's fine. Uh, we have six mana. So let's grab this. Great. Blue deck. There's no counters in this deck, by the way. I play blue because uh, I want the artifact synergy cards. Like this guy. What's he doing? 
So he's going to draw a card to ping this for three. I'm aware that that is a thing that is going to happen. And I'm okay with it. Okay. Right. Oh my. I like that. Let's get rid of this Drake, shall we? This can wait a turn. Although, I would like to make his shit cost two more. That's pretty good. Do you think I can afford to take seven damage? Well, probably ten damage with whatever this is. I think I need to get rid of the seven damage. Here we go. Gotta ditch it. Oh, I could have blocked with this. Uh, oh, I wouldn't have had enough. There's no accounting for luck. Hugin wouldn't Maybe last very long. I'm gonna let him ping that too. Oh, I guess I could have got it out of ping range, huh? Dovin. Oh, this lad. Yeah, he can just block anyway. I could have done his plus one and attacked with both. That would have been better because he would have been uh, at five and he wouldn't have been able to ping with this. I made an oopsie. I'll attack for one damage, sure. I guess if he does that, he leaves this alive though. Eh. I don't think I'm happy with the plays I've made so far. One less to cast, huh? I didn't foresee this. Are you gonna draw another card? Oh, lava coil, okay. I'd like his stuff to cost more mana now. Let's slow this baby down a little bit. How much extra mana am I gonna have? I can play this as well. Now let's get the Lurker of the Lock out there. Hey, wait. Okay, Overseer. Oh, we got lots of stuff in there. Oh shit, the Lurker of the Lock's gonna give us some serious uh, value. Let's get his HP as low as possible. He's got 10 turns to live. Bring it, bub. I do have an Ugin in the deck, though. Because it discounts all my colorless shit. And this deck has like 20 colorless cards. Uh, he knows that that Lurker of the Lock would have been too good. God, that's annoying. Good lord, that's annoying. Alright, let's, let's see who crosses the finish line first. Luckily his shit costs two extra, so I don't think he can draw two cards, two extra cards, hopefully. Even his opt would cost three fucking mana. There you go. Okay. Let's get it all out on the table. Alright, we're racing. Who's gonna cross the finish line first? I think we got this, but we'll see. We slowed, slowed him down enough with the statue that 
it's looking good for us. Oh, can he destroy an artifact? I don't think he can. I think he's boinked. So his his instant and sorceries cost the normal amount now. You beat the best in your doubles league for Pokemon earlier to knock him out. He hasn't lost in the playoffs until today. Hot diggity damn. Very nice. I wish I drew not land. I think we got this. I'll just keep it in hand to make it look like I have something, you know? Oh, hey, Drifter. Long time no see. How am I? I've been pretty, uh, well, quite frankly, depressed lately, but just keeping it real, you know? Fuck, is he clearing all my stuff? He has two turns to live. I think, I hope, I think depending on our next top deck, I might be a little bit worried. He's such a talented battler, but you got the better. What is happening? What just happened? Sorry? Hello? <laughs> Give me a fucking break, dude. Luckily, we still won. Hilariously. Unless he has some sort of trick. Okay, great. Oh boy, that was a close call, huh? Huh, gang? I can't believe we didn't lose right there. That is f ridiculous. The fact that that's even possible, that he just pushed like... What was that? 19 damage in one turn or some dumb shit? No, not that much. I was already hurt, wasn't I? The point is... Fuck that shit. But we got there. How are you doing, Drifter? 13? Yeah, only 13. Only 9 burst damage. Yeah, you're right. That's not that big of a deal. You missed it, Gargleby? Oh, we won. We won. Don't worry. Yeah, that's a pretty good hand, huh? Hmm. We'll start out with this. Oh shit, you lost your job today? Tonight? I, uh... That's a rough one, man. I know the feeling. I'm playing this card, by the way. Playing it for one. It's a 1-1. One, one. Yep. Okay, so... Drifter, man. That's why you weren't around. Your new shifts were during the times that I was streaming. Oh, I haven't been streaming lately, Drifter, because of... You know... Feeling sorry for myself. But. Yeah, solidarity, brother. I still don't have a job. Because I lost my job a while back, too. It's, uh, it's a rough one. Especially if it's unjust. Like, did... Were you unionized or anything? Did... Oh, fuck. Don't get rid of my steel overseer, please. You can take my... My, my house and my car and my... You can take everything from me, but don't take the steel overseer. Oh, he was just mousing over it because he's like... Oh, no, please. Oh, come on. Get out of here with that shit. The comic book store. Should I play P Prison Realm just to make sure I get something I want? I feel like I don't want to do that. 
you got fired from your job for something you didn't do. Mm, yeah. That happens a lot. Okay, so what I was gonna say is this super obnoxious infinite damage combo over the course of the game. Uh, we have a way of dealing with it. I don't actually need this. Uh, so our way of dealing with this is, uh, the Sinister Spyglass or whatever it's called to disable them from activating this Witches Oven ability. Uh, I don't actually have one in the deck, I have one in my sideboard, so we need Karn, and we need to grab the Witches Spyglass and then designate the Witches Oven as the thing that can't be activated. And that'll halt a lot of the shit, but... I only have one way of digging for Karn, so... Eh, we'll see. Unfortunately, I only have one of these in the deck because that's all I have. I would include at least one more if I could. It's really good at annoying uh, flying decks, but... You're quitting anyway. I could Dance of the Mance to get something back. We'll wait. This is the worst case scenario for the pattern matcher, not pulling something from the deck, unfortunately. We were let go because the owner felt there was too big of management style differences? Huh? Sounds like a bunch of BS to me. True, true BS. They don't have a reason to let you go. They don't have to have a reason to let you go. That's... Pretty grim. Oh, why did he do that? Why didn't... Wait, why didn't he attack first? I guess because it would have just gotten blocked. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we have to do this, for sure. Uh, I think we need something other than land right now. Drifter, I feel for you, man. The reason I'm just attacking here is because he could just attack, and then I, I block, and then he just sacrifices it anyways. Discard a card. I'm gonna ditch Dance of the Mance, because only one of my things has died. Dance of the Mance is ridiculous if you have even just, like, two artifacts in your graveyard. Oh boy. I'm regretting playing this on turn one. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Um, this should be fine. I'll play this first, just in case I top deck my uh, god pharaoh statue or something. You left your job too. Kind of fell up, fell off the map for them. Fell off the map. What do you mean by that, Ark? So are we all unemployed right now? Let's all be sad together. Melancholy. You're not sure what you're going to do with yourself tonight. Drifter, I have some advice. You should, uh, 
furiously uh, jerk the gurk better opportunities away yeah there you go that's a great way of looking at it we're in a rough spot gang <gasps> oh my god what did I say we could top deck the god pharaoh statue wow truly a sight to behold well he's got to start making moves he did not do his witch's oven cauldron familiar trick last turn oh he's doing it right now what gargleby what's up this is indeed the unemployed stream when is he gonna start attacking? I only have two blockers and he has shit with menace. Go hard, brother. I can only block one thing and you can make a rat every turn. You should be attacking with all your fucking menace rats. Attack right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. You'd be a fool not to. Hello? He's thinking really hard about this. What? What, did, what just happened? Huh? He's afraid of more shenanigans with me sneaking out his expensive artifacts. I guess that's fair. Thinking of upgrading your bike, but... Uh... It'd be like 3k plus. Oh my gosh. Don't even, don't even speak of such numbers. I think things are turning around for us. Wonder what he has in his hand. I was gonna say, we don't really want to see Karn in those four cards. Uh, attacking would be pointless because he, he could just bl designate the blocker and then sacrifice it. See how obnoxious this deck is? Now this isn't the most obnoxious version of the Witch's Oven deck because there's the red, the red-black deck, right? The one that I think we might have seen briefly on the previous stream where uh, they steal your creature and then sacrifice it. That's the most obnoxious combo. It's borderline like, well, this is MTG, so you know that there's some broken ass combos that wizards didn't even think about. It's like having a one mana artifact out and playing a one mana fucking spell and you swing the tempo so dramatically that it's impossible to recover from. Seems balanced and fair. Luckily this guy's mono black though, which I think is the inferior version of whatever he's playing. What did he just do? Oh fuck. I was hoping that was not gonna happen. We should start attacking with some shit. We'll attack with these two. You wanna hear more meows? No, we're not gonna be playing at Johnny's. We're gonna be repping this deck for a while. We're gonna squeak some damage through, but it's not gonna be much. You're gonna do it. You just haven't met your match. Thank God he's not top decking land and his shit costs two more. Like that bone splinters costed uh, three mana. That's a pretty good deal. The channel points thing hides the better Twitch TV menu. Ouch. I'm sure better Twitch TV will update their shit to work with, uh, work with shit. Three mana gutter bones. I think we're on a similar playing field here. Oh, beautiful top deck. Oh my god. That might seal the deal, honestly, if he can't deal with the flying 3-3. Three, three. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Here we go. Here's where we gain a bunch of card advantage because I'm pulling shit from my deck and he's not. Again, he can only block one thing. <laughs> See how useless this fucking serpent has been? I should not have played it on turn one. The play there is play serpent on turn one and then steal overseer on turn two and then start buffing it, but... Eh. Actually, the more I think about it, the less sense that makes, because if the steal overseer, overseer comes out first, you can just play the serpent and then buff it after it doesn't have summoning sickness anymore. We're catching up HP-wise, you notice that? Yeah, the thing about this combo is it takes a long time to whittle, whittle you down. Oh no, he's drawing mana. Actually, that's a good thing if he's top decking. Top deck here. Get land flooded, please. Each player sacrifices a creature. Uh, we already know what we're gonna sacrifice. <laughs> the fucking 1-1 one, one that hasn't done anything all game. Uh, yeah. This is the fastest PP overheat you've ever seen. Amazing. Fastest PP in the West. Oh my god. I think I'd rather have the flyer. Let's really start pushing some damage. Oh, should we grab this for insurance? Just in case. I, I think we have a board advantage easily. So we should grab something f like, just in case. And then we could always grab something else with pattern matcher. Oh my god, yes. Being able to pull specific cards from your deck like that feels real good. Uh, I'm probably going to leave the others as blockers. Yeah. Then swing for six every turn after that. This is going to ping down. So we win in two turns if nothing else changes on the board. Add in gay rat, better Twitch TV. I'm going to need a remind. Wait, what just happened? He just sacked gutter bones. Oh, he has a second cat. Right, gotcha. Can you message those to me on um, Discord, please, Daves? Wait, what just happened to the music? It's YouTube doing the stupid pausing to make sure that you're there thing. Oh, shit, you know what? I'm just getting rid of this. I'd rather have the pattern matcher. I think we're good. I think we got this. So we're grabbing another owl, right? It would be foolish not to. I'll play the fucking land. So he can't make me discard a card. Screw you and your discarding of cards. Oh wait, I'm just gonna have to discard. I should have kept the land. Shit. I was foolish. I should have kept the land, because now I'm going to have to discard this if he plays another rat. I don't think it's going to matter, but it is worth noting. I was foolish all along. I was too hasty. He's going to have to start healing himself with his fucking food tokens. That's not enough HP, bud. You should have used the food token, it would have bought you an extra turn. Oh, he could do it this turn, I see. Oh shit, he's gonna be able to stall out with the food tokens. Let's see if he forgets. Oh no, he's gaining life! That was a really- mom's a food token. That was a really good top deck. I need to check my, uh, music. Are you still here? Continue watching? Yes! Thanks, YouTube. I don't know why you started doing that, but it's really fucking annoying. 
Is there any way to prevent? What's he doing? Oh god, I'm on 7 HP. Fuck. Ooh. I think I want more creatures, and unfortunately the, uh... I mean, hmm. I don't have any black mana, so I shouldn't dig for my alternate win condition. The mono black deck is pretty dumb. It's a bit s silly. Oh. At this point, I might just need creatures to block while I swing with the birds, so I should just grab this. There we go. Oh my god, I'm... Oh no, he actually has three more HP. Am I dead? No, he only has two Menace Rats, right? Okay. We're basically racing to the finish line, and I think I might have it faster than he does, because he's dead next turn. Please, fingers crossed. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, cause when he plays it, this triggers too. Oh my fucking god, that is absurd. Please no. What did he top deck? This could be the game, whatever he top decked is... Super important here. It's a matter of life and death. Drain life. I hope it's fucking nothing. I hope it's a I hope it's a six mana cost thing that he can't play because of God Ferris statue. I hope it's a fucking land. Come on, bitch. He doesn't have I think he's dead. He could have survived a couple well, I don't wanna speak too soon, but it seems like he could have survived a couple extra turns by actually using the ability of the fucking food token. This is a desperation attack, huh? Do I have enough to, uh... It's a 1, 2... Oh, he can sack something, huh? He's gonna sack the cat, but I can't block the fucking rat. That's really annoying. Wait, am I dead? 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm on 1 HP, right? Because this is gonna be dead. Unless he has a trick. Hold on. I should block this like that, just in case. Well, that's the best I can do with what I've got. I'm, I should be on 1 HP if... Oh, he can, he can put the cat into play now? Oh, fuck off. Oh, wait. Oh my fucking god, that's so obnoxious. Wow. Good god. I had so much, like, card advantage and board advantage on him, too. It just has so much staying power with the life gain and the, like, chip damage. It's a pretty stupid combo, honestly, but... Eh. Whatever. We'll take it. Ain't that a bitch. What a weird hand. I don't think I can justify keeping this. Was better. It's 
get our renowned weaponsmith out on the board there. What is this? Oh my god. This is the first time I've seen this. Copy your adventure effects. Damn. Uh, I want to get this out on the board before I play Dovin. I could also play Pattern Matcher. Ooh. I think I'm just going to play this. And, uh... The Clover can snowball. Oh, shit. Shit. I think uh, maybe we're in trouble. Who knows? Is this a deck centered around... Fucking lucky clover. Okay. So far so good. So what could I do? If I play this three, no. Okay, so this can enter tapped. It's hard to be a genius surrounded by lesser minds. <laughs> Hear that, guys? It's hard to be a genius surrounded by lesser minds. Deal three damage to each creature. Creatures you control or control gain life link. Yeah, okay. Let's do this just because we can. Feels bad, man. Hmm. A genie ass. He did not play mana last turn, did he? Or am I crazy? I don't think he has land. Okay, fantastic news, everyone. It's so nice having this Dovin out here when he's clearing the board, though. Never mind. Clearly, the shortcomings here were mine. Mmm. Do I want a weaponsmith or do I want to pull for two other planeswalkers? I think I already know the answer to that. To that little tidbit. I think I'm actually gonna go for. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I may never draw a land again this game because uh, the resource system and magic is such dog shit, so I better take the stuff I can actually play. That's just how it goes. I thought about taking the, uh, the alternate win condition, but I don't have any artifacts out. It keeps wiping them, you know? Keeps wiping them. We've got six mana, huh? Two mana right now. Unfortunately, this is only activated abilities. Oh, Mystic Forge, huh? I'm pretty sure this applies to adventure effects too, the God Pharaoh statue. Yoink. Let's yoink one of those, shall we? I kind of wish I had some better artifacts, but uh, working with what I've got. Working with what I've got. Choose one at random. Create a red white creature token with these characteristics. Trample and haste. Life link and haste. When this creature enters the battlefield, deals one damage to any target. Okay. Interesting indeed. Yeah. 
he has not drawn a land for a couple of turns now, so getting this out as quickly as possible is pretty sweet. Three one two one one two. Well, we might get lucky. We do not want to see the three one. Get as many uh, cards out of this as possible. I think I'm gonna grab a Mystic Forge. Is Savage Bite in rotation? Savage Bite. Yes. I think so. Wait, it was in rotation before too. I think they reprinted it in M20 or something. Rabid Bite? That's what I'm thinking. Let's poke him. Boop. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, never mind. It worked out. Let's try this. Yeah, there's actually a pretty ridiculous combo, I think, with Rabid Bite and... Okay, we don't want this to get bounced. How much mana do we have? Lots. I should get rid of Teferi. And go from there. We will meet again. Oh, I'll keep that on. Oh wait, eh. it's fine. We're not doing too bad so far. You always loved Rabbit's art. Yeah, say what you will about magic, but the art is great. I recently saw some of those... There's like a collector's version of, uh... Um... The, this newest set or something? And some of the cards look fucking insane. They look so cool. I'm talking about like the actual physical cards, obviously. Okay. He's pulling two cards from the top seven cards of his deck. If he attacks with a 4 3, I'm blocking with the 3 3. Okay, great. I need to get Mystic Forge. I think it's time to play all this shit. Obviously use this for mana for that. I will gladly point out your inadequacies. Actually, before we do anything else, let's make sure there's not something on top of the deck we want to pull instead, like a steel whatever the fuck. So let's do this first. Oh my god, would you look at that. Ding ding ding. Beautiful. Uh, we'll keep that on top too. We're in good shape here, I think. Is this our second Dovin of the game? Oh shit, look at that. I do have two of these bad boys. We win in 12 turns, guys. Oh shit. You lucky fucker. You lucky piece of shit. Oh well. It's fine. God damn it. Alright. What's next? He's bouncing that to my hand, or what? Oh, okay. He's bouncing two things to my hand. I know my responsibility. Okay. This comes back with... fucking four counters on it when it got banished with two? That's fucking... That yoinks my zoinks, man. Holy shit. 
great. Luckily, if he doesn't... Okay, so I can just ping it with my, uh, Thopter. Oh, never mind, he did a plus one. How the fuck did he afford to play that when it cost two extra? Five, one, two, three, four, five... Two, one, two... Oh, he bounced it. Right. Yours oinks just got oinks, 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 yours oinks just got oinks. Indeed. Four, a six. Good lord, that's annoying, huh? Hmm, I'd really like to get these out so this is way cheaper. Let's start with this and see what we get. Okay. Hmm, we're gonna exile that. Better just do the minus one before he does some stomp shenanigans and kills it anyways. By a good I might just go face. Do you think it's a viable option just to ignore the fucking Teferi? Oh wait, he has a flying blocker, never mind. That, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, steel, uh, steel overseer getting pinged by this is the worst thing that happened to us this game so far. Oh fuck. I believe that's only a rare. It enables a lot of deck archetypes. Oh my fucking god, seriously. Oh. Well. That's unfortunate. What the fuck? Alright, pro tip wizards. Turn the fucking volume down on that effect, man. Holy shit. My god. That was so loud. Even with my insight, I didn't foresee this. I think we lose this game, honestly. Oh, I don't have any more in my deck? Damn. I've played all of them. They're all dead. I need to get this back out, but it costs so much mana. This is in the deck because I can cheat it out with the renowned weaponsmith. Can he bounce two things? Yeah, we lose. I'm just gonna... This game could probably go on for another like 20 minutes, literally, since... I don't... I haven't seen a win condition yet. He, he just seems to be one of those decks that control the game until the opponent concedes. 
AKA the funnest type of deck. Holy fuck, what? Holy fuck, what? I gotta look at it. Uh. Oh no. I cry. I'm gonna skip through this part of the song because I didn't like it very much. What do we got? Whoa, baby. I'll keep that. I like that. Oh, mama. I might do some uh, draft later for those of you that are interested. We'll see. Whoa, it's another one of these adventure decks. I'm just surprised because I haven't. Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful top deck. Good lord. You're gonna get to see some shenanigans here, man. We're gonna get out of control. In a very good way. Don't ever message me again is, uh... Is rough stuff. Alright, let's see if you can deal with the Overseer before it's out of control. These giant killers might end up uh, causing me some problems because my stuff is going to get bigger than a 4-4. Oh my god, look at this. I mean, to be fair, these creatures aren't very impressive on their own, but I'm sure there's some shenanigans that's going to happen at some point. There goes the Karn. Okay, Steel Overseer. Nice. Let's see who gets more out of control first, eh? I want more artifacts on the board. What's he got? Yeah, what does he have? What's going on here? Oh, is he respecting the, uh, the Overseer? Oh my god, you're not respecting the Overseer, you fool! Oh my god. I just heard a meme in my ear holes. Just gave that one pause because I'm very concerned that no one takes the Steel Overseer uh, seriously. No one respects it, man. No one respects the Overseer until it's too late. What are you doing? Why are you attacking into it? I'm telling you, man, no fucking respect. Seriously. What are you doing with your life, man? There you go, bud. They seriously don't play around it. It's ridiculous. Now, unfortunately for me, if I get any bigger, the giant killers might kill my Overseer. He's seen the power of the Overseer. So I might just keep this at three fucking attack. Wow, that's just a bit... Well, I mean, it's not a bad idea to attack here. You have PTSD from this dude from like 15 years ago. And this kid pretends it doesn't even exist. I know. I don't know if I should attack. I want to buff this shit. I'm too greedy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
I'm just gonna do this and buff. We need to deal with these somehow. We have we have flying shit that can contest contest it. If he giant kills it, we have another one. Okay. Let's get real greedy. This is all I'm gonna play, and then I'm gonna use the keys to, uh... Well, I could attack... Okay. No, no, no. We're gonna attack and then use the keys to untap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's be real, uh, aggressive here. We don't need to untap yet. We'll untap when we want to. How much mana did the giant killer ability cost? T three mana? Okay. I'm cool with losing one of these guys for three mana. Oh, I wanted to see these guys get out of control. That would have been a lot different if you would have just killed the fucking overseer instead of the uh, lurker of the lock. But again, man, no respect. I'm holding my shorts up with a safety pin right now. Just thought I'd let you guys know. I'm all out of water. I'm going to have to take a break soon. It's only been an hour and a half. Oh my god, dude, my voice. I can already feel it being strained. I sold a bow tie today for three dollars. Just thought I'd let everybody know. Let, let everybody in on that little secret. I'm I'm actually gonna keep here. I've got like ten two cost cards in my deck, and I have two draws to pull one, so it might be okay. Who knows? If not, oh well. We tried. We're making a calculated risk. Oh fuck, we better pull a fucking two drop. It's fucking RDW, bitch. And they do. Oh wait, what's this? Well, it still might be RDW. It's gonna have fucking Chandra Elementals or whatever the fuck they're called. <laughs> yeah, Taves. Indeed. Now in this situation, we don't actually want the Overseer, we want the other two drop. Ooh. Oh my god, we got it. What the fuck? Ask and you shall receive, bitch. Yeah, I called you a bitch. Fight me, bitch. We need to deal with that Steamkin somehow, and I don't know if I actually have an answer. We need to exile it. I can dig for it with these owls, actually. It's not as grim as it looks. Does he have a zap to get rid of my blocker? What's the name of this card? Manifold key. For which one? Oh, I wish I could kill your ass. Not you, not you guys. Monka toss. That was not a threat. Oh fuck, what's this? Shock? Oh, okay, I'm cool with that. Oh fuck, we don't have a three drop. <laughs> Wait. We might be in trouble. Wait. Please. Oh, we lose. We lose. Well. We tried. Red deck really does win. My entire deck doesn't have three drops. That's not true. That's not true at all, sir. In fact, there are an equal number of two, three, and four cost cards in this deck. So, uh, how dare you? Absolutely, how dare you? 
get plus. Oh, wah. I'm dead. Many times over. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. It's a nice way of dealing with this. I think it's too little too late though, unless the rest of the cards in his hand are land. Okay, please no, please, please no, please no, please no. Why is he... Oh. Okay, I'll just block the other one. Oh, he didn't actually use it. He tapped a land for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very confused by that. We've lost anyway. Why did he tap that land for no reason? BM. I think it's more like uh, RDW no brain plays type deal. Tap land. Not enough brain power to uh, click on the the actual creature to activate the ability. Oh, it really is BM. You're right. They're not... What the fuck was that? They just sat there for a bit, relishing in their victory, I guess. Good lord. What do we have, like a 50% win rate with this deck so far this stream? Your friends and you would uh, tap lands for BM. I can respect that your buds. Uh, this scenario uh, was a bit different. It was unacceptable. Where the fuck are my two drops? I'll get a two drop, don't worry. Oh, that's a technically a two drop if I want it to be. You're out. You're leaving. Might need to get rid of that. Oh fuck, this is the deck that steals your shit and uses the fucking oven. Oh no. I'm not in a hurry here. It's fine. I don't have an actual two drop anyway, I'll just play this later. When it's much bigger. to get rid of that. I guess I just have to let that stick around. He actually paid three mana for that flyer too because it has a spectacle cost. And it has other upsides as well. It's pretty ridiculous. I don't think I want this. I want mana so let's do that. Yeah, Dave's and I were talking about that card. This one and the Knight of the Ebon, or whatever the fuck it's called, the one mana, uh, with the activatable ability. They are ridiculous cards. Looks like Black did really well in recent sets. At least that one's a mythic, the, the Ebon Knight is a fucking rare, dude. Knight of the Ebon Legion, or whatever the fuck it's called. We're not drawing land, by the way. Four is kind of the magic number for this deck. A lot of the cards cost four mana. Like, a lot of the cards we want to play on four. Well, no shit. Oh fuck, we're so fucked. Because all of our four drops dr get us card advantage, basically. Like, every four drop I play is going to... Uh, get me more cards. Oh my god, unless... 
You fucking whiff on the fucking... Oh my god, no. I'm s I've lost. Knight of the Ebon Knight, yeah. There's that one mana, one one death touch. Surely you could have just attacked with this and not sacrificed your creatures. I guess he drew a card as well. No Wait, no he didn't. Oh no he did, he did. Okay, fine. Feels bad, man. Wait, why is that card in that deck? I just realized. Isn't that... To be fair, I don't really know what that card does anymore. I just see it in elemental decks all the time. If the elemental deck plays that card, you lose the game. Is the the text printed on that card? Why not run for those flying boys? Oh, you want me to run for the flying boys? I'm sure that guy did run for flying boys. I don't think the flying boys would fit in this deck very well. Especially considering I don't have any black mana except a, a few bits and pieces here and there. Let's make sure we play the right thing here. The right land, I mean. Hey, pain. Can we deal with that? I think we'll be fine. Let's get Dovin out there though. Immediately. Boop. Three mana seven six. Yeah. Fortunately it doesn't have trample as well, although wouldn't put it past wizards to print a card like that. This is just a small example of my genius. They don't care about... They don't care about none of that shit. My hand is really bad right now. How you doing, Pain? Whoa, what's he doing? Oh, he's choosing which card to discard? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Fair play, he probably doesn't have the land. Fool! Oh, that's why that deck runs this card, huh? That is gross. What the fuck? <laughs> we might be okay. Oh, we might be okay. Oh, we might be okay. Oh no, we're drawing land! God, I hate this game sometimes, man. <laughs> Fuck me. Why can't you just have a respectable fucking resource system? It would make everything so much more enjoyable. Uh, they should have given that trample. That's what I was saying earlier. Alright. Come on, give me something next turn. We need something next turn. Gates is still in rotation. I've only seen one Gates deck in the... Uh, to be fair, I don't play very often, but I've only seen one on Lighter so far. And it got tricked by the Overseer. It did the, the, the card where uh, it deals damage to all creatures based on the amount of Gates that you have, and I just tapped the Overseer and everything survived, and then they conceded. 
Oh, whoops, I'm stalling for no reason. I'm talking to chat. Give me, cut me some slack. Ooh, I might just let all of this through. Yeah. A little bit overkill. Probably could have just attacked with the trample thing. Okay. I don't like it, but I accept defeat. You'll be back, Dovin. Maybe. Next card I draw is gonna be another Dovin. Watch. Two Dovins, top ten cards of the deck. He's respecting the overseer. You gotta give the man credit for that. Credit where credit is due. Not many people do that. I have literally seen people fucking yoink the shambling suit before the overseer like a big dumb dumb that's when you know these people just net deck and don't actually like have any brains in their head I don't mean to sound rude I'm just feeling sassy today I need to take a break after this game and get some water dude that is not what we want to see man holy shit see man see man Luckily he's discarding a card every turn, so we might actually be able to keep up despite drawing land like five out of the six draws this game so far. You have two cards in your hand, bud. Pick one, please. Please. You got rid of the fucking flying 4-4 four, four trample? What do you- what's the other card in your hand, dude? What the fuck? Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Big trouble. My throat hurts real bad. I need water desperately. Oh, that was the other card in his hand. He's tired of discarding cards, I guess. Let me just kill my 7-6 real quick. When I'm top decking and probably won't have any cards in my hand during my next upkeep. He, he must really want to keep this card, man. I cannot respect the decision to kill that fucking 7-6. You're insane, dude. What the fuck? Uh, we've lost. Our top decks have been land, 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 land. Uh, Renowned Weaponsmiths, land, land, land. Manifold key. I'm gonna go get a drink. Be right back. Should I play an ad? Tell me if this works. Let's see. 7 6 for a 5 6 that kills a creature. Seems okay. Yeah, but he could have killed his other one that was just a worst creature. Right? Ads. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't even. Uh, I'll be back.
Hello? Did it work? Was it super obnoxious? Should I never do that again? Say the word and I will let you know er, and I will asking you shall fuck it, whatever, dude Are we back on the game? Yeah Sark. I'm just curious to see. I mean, let's be real here. Five people watching. Maybe one person saw the ad. I have no experience with this kind of stuff. Nice of Twitch to extend that shit out to affiliates, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to amount to anything for anyone, really. I think it's like a... They did it knowing that it wouldn't really amount to much. It's good PR, though. Oh baby, he's gonna zap this if he knows what's good for him. If it's the only creature, it's hard to fuck up. Unless he zaps my face, in which case... 
Oh my god. He doesn't have a zap. He don't have no zap. Holy shit. Now watch him zap that. Oh my god, he's looking at it. How many colors are in this deck, bud? He's not playing any cards either, it's making me real paranoid. Real paranoid. Gotta love Daddy Karn. Good old Papa Karn. I'm not gonna risk this dying somehow. We need it for next turn. Alright, but what you got? Oh, wow. Wait. Huh. Oh boy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. There's the old double tap. Uh And this. What else do we actually want? It would behoove me to yoink another artifact. I don't. I just don't know which one I'm gonna grab. Let's grab the old Mystic Forge. It's always a solid pick. I have an extra manifold key in there just in case I want to yoink one for reasons. I could push for some damage here. It would leave my uh, Papa Karn open to being attacked, but I might be okay with that, you know? I don't really care about the plus one. I never really expect to get more than a couple of uses out of Papa Karn. I'll go for it. Sure. Alright, great. Start putting him on a timer here, and we don't want to let him do whatever he wants with 20 HP. Let's get this one damage per turn really starting to make him a little bit nervous. Now we need our flyers to swing over these two twos. Uh yeah, let's let's dig for that. So we want This is colorless, huh? So I can't destroy it with Ugin. I have black mana, don't I? One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Perfect. Oh, I can do the plus one. I don't actually know if I want to do the plus one on the Pharaoh statue because it might get destroyed when it's a creature, you know? I'm so happy I have you as my best friend. Oh, Payne, thank you so much. Mucho apreciado. I could attack with the Pharaoh stat. I could really put on the pressure, I guess. Oh, fuck it, sure. Is he going to be able to destroy it when it's a creature? I just realized he didn't attack my Karn when, uh, 
both my creatures were tapped, and Karn was wide open to being attacked. He just didn't attack it. That was a very strange, uh... Very strange maneuver. Oh, interesting. Let's do this instead. Can't be blocked. Very nice. Booyah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Do I lose next turn? I guess that's the question, right? It's possible in these stupid fucking combo decks. Is he gonna actually attack this time? Yeah, that's probably wise, bud. Good job. He obviously has some sort of answer to not take damage next turn, right? God damn it, I knew the fucking Pharaoh statue was gonna get destroyed as a creature. Uh, we still might be able to pull one out of our ass, though. Affinity for artifacts. I would have one, so these would cost three. This would cost two. I should play this next turn then. So I should do this. Do I want that land next turn? I don't think I do. I'm probably going to exile it. Hey, Kosa. In before board wipe. Will be a tragedy or oh wait. A of error. I missed that earlier, didn't I? Tragedy or comedy of errors. That is indeed human life. Dovin knows what's up. Dovin knows what's up. This guy's probably like, what's taking this guy so long? I'm inspired by a good assault. How's it going, Icosa? I saw you were playing a new game recently, uh, Mistover. Do you like it so far? It's on my radar. It's on my Steam wish list. It's great. It looks great. Oh shit. A basic land card, huh? Fuck, this is really gonna start to get out of control with the Field of the Dead. this game. Here comes the next field of the dead. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, one, two, three. Hold on, hold on. Stand by, please stand by. Did I just win? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. No! Wait, this doesn't have affinity for artifacts? It should. It wouldn't matter, because I can't play both. 
Oh, so close. I wonder if I can block enough damage to survive. I gain life, remember. Oh wait, no, this costs one as well. Yeah, I don't have a fucking Thopter token in my deck. <gasps> oh, I shuffled my deck. I should have played the one off the top first. That was a huge mistake. I might be a- I might be- Hold on. Wait, why the fuck didn't this use mana? Wait, could I have- Could I have played this as a 5-5 five five and it would have costed nothing? Oh my god, we're learning lessons today, guys. That's for sure. Oh, this still costs 4. We're learning lessons, that's for sure. Oh wait, I won. I just BM'd him so hard by accident because I'm not paying attention. Thanks, Daves. I feel really bad about that. YouTube is wondering if I'm still there again. Tungsten Thunderbolt. Sorry, I missed your message earlier. I am playing Magic. I've been playing some Magic recently. I'm having fun with this Artifact deck. I finally found something that seems to work pretty well. That was a messy finish to that last game, man. Holy shit. That's not a bad hand. It's pretty good. Pretty good. But you can see now why I included the black in the deck, right? For, uh, for old Laser Beam Boy. It has a really dramatic effect, doesn't it? The fucking metal claw comes up and shoots a fucking laser beam. Uh-oh. It's a fucking- we're gonna see some of Johnny's pride mates, we're gonna see some life drinker flying things. We're gonna see all kinds of shit. Oh wait, it, that's not even gonna matter. Oh, okay. I didn't have a second artifact out. There it is. Ooh. Now, unfortunately. This only adds colorless mana, and this thing actually costs colored mana, so I can only play this right now. It's still not bad. Oh. The Manifold Q would be so nice, because I could play it this turn. But I think this is better. So let's yoink that. Because I think this thing is going to be growing at an exponential rate, and I'm going to need to exile it soon oh god at least I can the yeah, Johnny's isn't as bad as the life drinker he only has one white mana right now he could very well have a second of Johnny in his hand I'm gonna... well... Hmm... Ooh, I can double block now, huh? I'm thinking about getting rid of the orator because it enables these things to grow so much better, but... Maybe just getting rid of the flying thing and then swinging with my flying shit is good enough. 
Maybe I should play this first and see what I get, huh? See if there's something I want to play from my graveyard. Okay. There's the pattern matcher. Uh, I think I can go one more turn without exiling it. Maybe I will... No, I'll play this. Ooh, another one. Oh, I want the Steel Overseer so bad, but I would rather exile a bunch of his shit, because I'm not going to have any other way of dealing with this uh, growing problem. Although the Steel Overseer plus the Owls is a pretty hard to deal with. We want a double block here. No attacks. We're not doing too bad. Another one. Does he have a, another creature too? Does he have another one of these? Oh no. Oh, okay. I mean, we could go the... I mean, the route I'm gonna go is exile this, exile this, and hope he doesn't ever draw another one. Operation ignore the fact that there are three other copies of both of these in his deck somewhere. We know for a fact he does not have another bloodthirsty aerialist or he would have played it. I might... I can't really take this damage so I'm gonna have to block with one of these. I can use the Lurker of the Lock to play it again. It's not a problem. That includes this too. I'm just gonna chump these two. the beauty of the lurker of the lock. If I had more than one copy of this, I would have more than one in my deck. And I would cut some other stuff, because it's such a powerful effect. Ah, shit. I can only play one uh, prison realm. It might be worth it just to do the Cavalier of Dawn instead, then. Obviously, ditch the flyer, yeah. Or I could just resummon the owl. Uh, but then I lose something else. Oh, there's too much shit here that I need to get rid of. I don't really have time to attack. This thing's way too big of a threat. Ah, oh, shit. Luckily, this one doesn't proc. It's not perfect synergy. Top decking land. I would not complain if I top deck land here. I. Th Whoa! I was hoping he would attack with that. Why is he attacking with this? I'm very confused about that. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense at all. Does he have a trick? God, his land gives him card draw. That's so good. Good lord. I wonder what he drew. I could pay two life, but I could just play these two instead and curve out and just play this tapped. Or I could pay life and play both of these and get rid of both of these. That might be better. Then attack with this. Yeah. I need to speed things up here. So what do we actually want? What are we digging for? I have six mana.
We have enough mana. We're digging for actual cards now. The beautiful thing about this um, Cavalier is when it dies, I can bring an artifact back to my hand. Even the Cavalier has artifact synergy. Look at that, folks. What do we not want to see? At least it's not the flying version. Gideon's company would also be really bad, but I don't know if he runs it. He needs four drop slot. What a good land effect. Holy fuck. It's probably the best land I've ever fucking seen. Just draw cards. When you're out of gas, it's like the perfect land. Twitch sings. Oh, another prison realm. I've heard about Twitch sings. It seems kind of fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna get rid of the Ajani again. We only have so many of these answers. I think that's my last prison realm. Look at all that fucking land, dude. Holy shit. Wait. Do I have my... Do I have a... What do I have? I should play, uh... Can't play the owl, but I can play the pattern matcher. Okay. This could be going a lot worse than it is. He, we've been drawing the answers we need, but well, we might be okay. Oh boy, that's disgusting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh huh. Right. Whew. You got an official uh, gaming mouse. It's weird having. Oh, macros and shit on your mouse. Technically, we we have infinite blockers for this one area list because we can keep pulling it from our graveyard. So all hope is not lost. It's just looking real grim. It's looking grim. Like, we're not out of gas at all, but unfortunately he's not out of gas either because he can keep drawing cards with his fucking land. Hmm. Ugin kills it. It does, yeah. It does indeed. Unfortunately, we don't have the mana to dig for Ugin and, uh... Not take a billion damage, so we need to pay for this blocker every turn. Okay, that's really good. This has got to be really annoying for him. I can just infinitely pull this blocker. Oh my god. I missed two hits in a row. That's crazy. He 
can't spell. Don't worry about it, Pain. This Steel Overseer might win us the game. Because this thing's just going to keep snowballing and getting bigger, and eventually it's going to be a big threat, too. I don't know why he didn't tap to gain a life to buff this thing. I don't know what he's thinking. Literally no idea what he's thinking. As long as he only has this one flying lady. Oh. I can actually attack with this. Uh, that loses me life though. We're trying to extend this for as long as possible. Until we're ready to actually attack. It's gonna have to be big swings, not just four damage. Oh, there it goes. He's waiting. Mm. I don't know why he waited until then, because this was tapped. He's not tricking anybody. Just in case he needed to block with it, I guess. Makes sense. Oh, fuck. Well, that might be game, depending on what we draw on our next draw. Actually, that's not true. Is it? Four, five, one, two, three. No, it is. Well, this one isn't that big. I could let this one hit me. Oh shit! I'm. S mm. Good lord. Wait, how did I kill the flyer? All three of these w exiled creatures are Johnny's pride main? Shit. Oh lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I think with this it's GG as well, especially because he's just gonna draw like three cards next turn. Well, we need this for a blocker. Actually... Hmm... Maybe igniting the beacon would have been better. One, two, three, four... F oh no, I need one more land to do that all in one turn. Oh, uh, never mind. I should have been... Oh, no, no, no. I needed one more land. Huh. This blocks... Two four, two four six, two four six seven eight nine. I'm gonna have to send it out there. Okay, pretty good. It's probably the best card we could have hoped for, honestly. Good lord. This game is. A strange one. See if we can catch him off guard with the old overseer somehow. Okay. Good lord. Please, no. No! Oh my god. You know what would be great? Oh no, he's not gonna do it. Wait, if he only gains one more life and then he attacks with this, he could be fucked. Please attack with both. He didn't attack with any? I mean, dude, you could have attacked with the fucking... 
because I would have been 16 with this tapped. 10, 14, yeah, he should have attacked with this. That was a mistake on his part. But I guess whatever he has in his hand is giving him incentive to wait for some reason. I think it's just strictly a mistake though, because now I have time to play something else and I have the blockers for this turn. He gave me one turn of breathing room, and I don't know why, but I'll take it. Shouldn't have done that, bud. I might actually win the game now. We want Ugin. Uh, what do we? What can we pull with Karn that would give him problems? I think we want Dovin instead to get blockers. Yep. Uh, we can actually pay, uh, play both of these as well. Things are turning around here, actually. Huh. Oh, right. I can even, uh... I have a pattern matcher in there and another bird I can pull. Not this turn. Actually, wait. Four mana. I only have three. Okay. Can't play the pattern matcher. I... Hmm, never mind. We might be able to win. He's acting like I would ever swing in when he has these fuckers. I respect the uh, wanting to stick to the order though. Give him props for that, I guess. He's drawing so many cards. I think he has enough. He has one more area list in his deck. This is the last Pride Mate. The Pride Mate we can deal with easily because we have so many blockers on the ground. It's the flying fuckers that cause a lot of problems. Alright, but unless you have a 9 mana spell right now, there's no reason not to draw a card here. That was weird. Why is he manually tapping? He's got something that needs white mana in his hand. I wonder what it is. And a Johnny uh, Planeswalker, maybe? Can he kill one of my blockers? That would be a disaster. If he can and he's slow rolling, then that's uh, a little bit... Uh, rude. He's not attacking again. No way. He is making lots of mistakes here by not swinging in with these big fuckers. Seriously. Good lord. Well, I'm gonna kill one of them now. <laughs> Wait. Okay. They gain indestructible until the end of the turn. I just I'll just do it next turn then. What the fuck? 
My confusion knows no bounds. Look how tiny my shit is. I can barely see it. I need new glasses as it is. Holy shit. Is there anything in here I can actually play? Yes, there is. I can play the pattern uh, matcher. This costs two because of Ugin's uh, passive ability. Honestly, this guy should have won like two turns ago, but he didn't attack for a couple of turns. Which freed up my mana to do other things. Unless he can give these guys trample, I'm not feeling super scared. Good lord, look at my board. I can't even see what things are. What the fuck? Okay, what do I have? One, two, three, four. Normally I'd pick another overseer or something, but I think I need more flying blockers just in case. Oh wait, I still it's still my turn. Uh, I have lots of colorless. This costs zero, doesn't it? Do I have more pattern matchers? I should play another pattern matcher. I have I have a flyer and uh, something with reach. I can just play these owls from the graveyard. I have one more owl in the graveyard. I'm, I'm gonna grab an overseer and play it for free, I think. I literally cannot see what's going on on the board. Good lord, what? This is so, so strangely laid out. These could be bigger if they were sort of spread out more. Why are they clumped over here like this? It's fucking strange. I can't. Okay. I'm not attacking with any anything, am I? No. There's two giant creatures right there. I have two overseers that can be tapped. We can do that on his turn. You should really attack with those flyers, bud. I don't know what you're waiting for. He wants to draw as many cards as possible before he starts swinging. I'm not kidding when I said he could have won like three turns ago. Instead we're going to be here for another 20 minutes, huh? How many cards does he have in his deck? Okay. Okay, GG. Wait, 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 wait. Why the BM? Fuck you, dude. Seriously. He didn't deserve to win that game because he let me uh, survive for like five extra turns and he could have killed me. If he would have put the pressure on. Damn, dude. What a... Uh, what a tiny brain. What happened? Well, he played a Johnny, and a Johnny's ability is if you have 15 or more start, then you're starting life, and you exile all creatures and artifacts your opponent controls. But he uh, tapped some shit and played some cards before he played a Johnny. But if we're talking about the whole game, uh. He should have just attacked with his flying shit a lot sooner and I would have been dead like a billion turns ago. I'm gonna get rid of the mana geode. 
Oh boy. But yeah, long story short, he should have won that game, but he had no business winning that game, if that makes sense. He may play this card until the end of the turn, is that right? Oh, during any turn you attacked with a rogue. Well, that's going to come back to bite me in the ass, surely. Card back, bro. What did he get? The owl. We gotta get rid of that. Wonder if he has any more of those in the old uh, repertoire. I'm thinking land might not be the worst thing in the world. Ah, uh, we need more shit. We need more creatures and shit. We have a land in hand. I guess I have to pay two life to use it. Yeah, pain. The uh, the Twitch sing stuff seems interesting. We need blockers pretty bad. How do I miss every single time with the fucking owl? And it's. A one in three chance. No, no, no. It's a one in three chance for every single one of the four cards to be something I can pull. So the fact that I don't hit is pretty absurd. Because a third of my deck is stuff that that owl can pull. It's just bad luck, I guess. GG. It's very clear we've lost this game. We're back. As many matches as we've played, we're at the exact same rank as we were at the very start of the stream. I guess that means we have had exactly a 50% win rate. Feels weird, man. Well, yeah, 50% win rate. I think the thing with most, the thing with magic is I'm pretty sure every deck should have about like 10% higher win rate than it actually does just because of the resource system. VS baby. Very sad. Hello? What does this mean when nothing happens? Does it mean he's connecting or something? Pixel, come on, bud. Get your internet uh, situation sorted out. Whoa. Look, I can click stuff and stuff happens. Wow. What happens if I click the gargoyle? Does it move? What? Nothing? It's just this? I'm getting bored real quick.
pretty bad hand. I'm gonna, uh, well, I mean, this... Nah, fuck that. That's a bit better. What the fuck, we got this big boy back. We're gonna throw him back into the deck, though. We don't need you yet. We want things we can actually play in a reasonable amount of time. My sound cut out there for some reason. Oh, I think he's just... I don't actually know what's going on. Internet issues, I'm pretty sure, considering how long he took to connect. How long they took to connect. Pixel could be a... They're here? I hope every turn isn't going to be like that. Oh, I guess there's no issue at all. They were just taking a long time. Fair play. Fair play. Is it going to be the same deck as we just faced? Uh, no. Huh. He's mousing over the card, wondering what it does. I don't blame you, brother. I have never seen another artifact deck on ladder. Ever. At least with the elf deck I played before, like every once in like a hundred games you came across someone that had like a similar elf deck. I don't mind blocking this. I don't know why I wouldn't. These aren't good enough to exile. A spirit. Lots of shit with afterlife. Is he going to sack the other one too for no reason? He's deciding whether or not to attack with the uh, oligarch. Oh, he's going for it. Fair play. I don't know why, but he's going for it. He wants that flying. That flying is important. Luckily we have uh, flying blockers. You can you can hear my voice faltering every now and then, huh? It's because uh, it's very strained right now. I should try to stream more so my voice gets used to it again. Because once I'm actually streaming, like, it's easy to forget about everything else kind of might be part of the reason why I started streaming in the first place and why I liked it so much uh, low yell he's into it what is this? oh uh, do I care about this 3 damage? Nah, I'd rather keep this around. I don't really care. What's this thing's activated ability? Add one mana of the chosen color. Add one white mana. Okay. I could exile this. He only has, w he has one card in hand. Oh. Boy. Or should I take a turn to play Smothering Tithe? I could just play Smothering Tithe next turn. Let's just, yeah, let's just get this out there. Oh, another Prison Realm? He instantly conceded. I've never seen that guy's deck before. It must be some sort of homebrew. 
Or maybe it's a no well-known deck that I just am unaware of and he got bad draws or something. I'll tell you what though, it feels good to not just be a moth to the flame and actually have some sort of individuality and a deck that you've created yourself instead of seeing the same decks over and over again, you know? Good lord, some of these decks. Hey, it's that deck we've seen five times. Red deck wins. Pretty much, it's gonna come down to if he zaps my, uh, my, my thing right away. If I can get it big enough to block and not get killed by like a two damage zap, we might be able to Pull off a win here. Thank god I top deck some land. I might actually, uh... Well, I guess the Lurker of the Lock is a pretty good blocker, huh? Let's get it out there. What do we got? Oh, baby, we got a couple of... Oh my god! That was great. Ooh, and I might have just skimmed these off the top and my next card is land. That'd be great. Getting another land. And then being able to play the bird. Oh, that would be fantastic. Holy shit. Fingers crossed. Top deck land. Come on. Let's see if he's smart about this or if he hasn't even read the card text on Steel uh, Overseer yet. We'll see. <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised the old, uh, the old smork. He has two mana, right? Can't be blocked. He can't activate this once I designate the block, right? I don't actually know how that works, but we'll just do this for now, since these guys deal more damage over time. Right. Hey! Oh, but we lost what we really wanted. Dance of the Mance. We could get. We could get the Steel Overseer out, and that's it. Mm hmm. He can do it after I designate a blocker. That's unfortunate. Wait, wait, wait. But if he did it, what would happen? Would the combat just not happen? Or would it actually go through to the face? Because every other uh, effect, when it comes to like... Once the block is designated and something happens to one creature or the other, it just... Nothing resolves, right? And then it just... Bada bing, bada boom. I guess I should exile these then, if they can just go right through. Would they go through? Oh, I might actually keep this for a, something to play next turn. Yeah. Combat resolves. And in that case it would be the combat is, well, yeah, combat between the two creatures resolves, right? That is so unintuitive if it goes straight through, th straight to, through to the face. Yeah, it does go straight through to the face. To the face, I'm having trouble enunciating. That seems so inconsistent with how everything else resolves normally. God, sometimes magic is so fucking unintuitive. Sometimes I wonder how... Well, never mind. I don't want to be too negative. But sometimes I do wonder how... I think part of the reason magic is still so successful is because too many people are too invested in it already. He says as he plays MTGA. 
he chose not to attack there. Hmm. Wait, why? Why? I should yoink that. I'm burnt out. He's running out of uh, steam. We might be okay. We're officially out of zap range as well. Because I can just tap and get 4 health. Oh wait, they actually have a card that deals 4 damage now or something. But yeah, some of the stuff in Magic is so unintuitive, and the resource system is so bad, and sometimes they print cards that seem like only a madman would ever print a card like that if they actually wanted the game to remain balanced. And some of the interactions they clearly don't think about, and then they have to, like, ban cards. It's, it's just a big old mess. So, if it actually works the way you're saying it does, why would you ever use the ability now? Why wouldn't you use it after? A blocker is designated. Oh no, I can't block. You use it before blockers are designated. Oh, so it 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 doesn't work like I was thinking it did. Oh, that I guess that was just like a chat delay miscommunication. Tin Street Dodger is the name of the card, and uncommon from whatever set that is. I don't know what that is. Ravnica Legions or some shit. I don't know shit. We need to start attacking, I think. After it has become blocked by a creature without a defender, it won't cause it to become unblocked. Oh, okay. Great. He should really be attacking with everything right now. I don't know. I don't even know, man. I guess he's waiting until he has lethal with these two guys. No, you know what? It's smart not to attack right away. I take it back. Uh, okay, let's see. Hmm. I think I'm boned. If he was going to do this anyway, He probably should have just attacked with the... He just lost... Th two damage. Because this deals one when it attacks. In fact, he should have blocked with this. What? Well, I guess it doesn't matter because he could just... Well, but this costs mana and the other thing doesn't. I think he blocked with the wrong creature in my opinion, but... Never mind. There aren't many things that'll save me here. If I can get one more mana, I can destroy Cavalcade. Whoa, what's this? What's he doing? Oh, okay. Come on, Chandra, remember that spell. All I need is one more, uh, one more mana. Oh wait, I have my one extra mana now. One, two, three, four, five. I'm good, I'm good. We're good. 
We're good. We might actually be able to survive. We might be okay. Especially because he's not drawing any uh, land. Does uh, RDW have less land than a normal deck? Because I've noticed they they don't draw land a lot more fre frequently. Do they have like what, like 20 land instead of 24 or some shit? My, I mean, my uh, elf deck that I played only had 20 land, I'm pretty sure. I can go check it. Luckily we were able to get rid of that, but uh, we're still in trouble here. This thing's going to be pinging me for one every turn at least. Oh boy. Thank god I got rid of that fucking cavalcade. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, watch this. Watch watch the, the swing back on the next turn. You'll see the power of Dance of the Mance. Like we might win this game as long as he doesn't burn our, uh, burn our face too badly. Because Dance of the Mance is ridiculous. So how much do we actually need here? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Play the land. Uh... Just four, yeah? Yep. Alright, watch this. Four... Oh, wait. But wait, wait, wait. I want to play more than four cards. I want to play five cards. Okay. We'll pay five mana. Wait, do I have enough for it? Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Boop. Hmm, that seems pretty good. Uh, we want to exile this. There we go. I am not happy right now. Uh, I will take action on this. What else do we want? Another one of these. Arcanus Owl. Oh, it didn't find anything. We are scrying. I don't need more land. Dance of the Mance, everybody. Seems good, right? Uh, I can attack with this. Sure. Pretty big swing, yeah. So now I have a blocker for this. I still can't defend against the, the dodger, though. Unfortunately. Oh, we drew another land. We might be in trouble. <laughs> Maybe I should exile that. The fucking... 1-1. One, one. We might be able to race to the finish line, we'll see. Can he buff it? He got two lands, okay, that's good. He already played a land this turn as well. The music stopped, this is awkward. I think this might be our last match of the game. Good lord. Hats off to Dance of the Mance, man. Seven mana. Just play five cards. 
that have less than five mana cost from your graveyard. Seems good. Seems good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now. The music is over, it's a sign. I'll start it up again for the end screen though. Oh, it was only... Right, it was paused because of YouTube's dumb shit. Uh, yeah, we won that game against Red Deck Wins. Feels good. Always feels good to beat the aggro, uh, the aggro huh? Uh, anyways. Take care, guys. Take it easy. What'd you guys think of my, uh... My artifact deck? It's not bad, eh? Could be worse. There's a couple of cards I'd like to change or add, but... You work with what you got. Well, take care, guys. Hey, no worries, Daves. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it when you guys hang out. When was the last stream? Was it less than a week ago? I don't know. I, I'm trying to... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was four days ago. Okay. It's better than it has been. I'll tr uh, I'm gonna try and stream more, but yeah. Anyways, take care. <laughs>